then, uh, when you're exerting the guillotine on your opponent, and go down on your side, please, Warren. Typically, how it will happen is if you have a side control and your opponent dominates the underhook. So whoever is dominating the, whole, the underhook and the side control is controlling the position. If he has an underhook, he can start to shuck my shoulder up and work out the back and come to his knees. Really common situation. Okay, so I have my position here. He starts to dominate the underhook. He comes to his knees. In this moment, I need to circle around to his head here. But stay here, obviously, he's going to take my back. So I will square up to him here. Now I have a, uh, what's known as a front headlock in wrestling. It's a grip and comes to his arm and his head. So I don't want to stay on my knees here. I want to sprawl my hips back. And I want to put the weight of my body on the back of his neck. If I'm just crazy and I stay on my knees and my weight's more up on his chest, he can posture up, put his head up, drive underneath, double leg knee, or single leg knee on the ground. So I want to keep the top position. Okay, so I'm stretching my hips back, put the weight down on him, my weight concentrated on the back. Now, there are versions of the guillotine that have an arm in. We're not going to talk about that today. That's a lesser effect. The best one is both hands in. So what I'm going to do is I'll sneak this inside and I'll clasp my hands. Now, this is known as a cup and saucer. I'm choking. The other hand is a saucer. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive him backwards like so. I need to create some room underneath. Now this leg here is going to windshield right underneath. This leg is going to step back. Now when I fall, I'm not going to fall straight back. I'm going to fall to the same side as the head. Like so. I'm going to put his head in the hole. This leg that was on the inside is going to hook here. And this leg on top. I want him on this side of my body, not on the other side. Now that I'm here, I'm going to push my hips forward and with the back of my shoulder, I'm going to push his neck down and pull up and I'll tap. It's really important that I fall to this side. If I fall to this side, he can jump over onto this side, get a cross body on me, and if he's cross body, this is his best escape. Now he has a cross face on me, he could drive his weight into my neck. And he's on his way to get out. Okay, one more time. So a different angle. Top here, one, weight on the back of his neck. Two, scroll your hips out of it. Now when I want to make the guillotine, I will take the arm post out, put it inside the cup and saucer grip. I will drive into my opponent. Now I'm going to fall back, this leg will windshield wiper in, this one goes to the top, and I will put his head in the hole on this side. I'll push him away with my legs, lift my arm, and push his head down. This pushing the head down is really important, and maybe even more important than pulling up. Because if you put your, your own head your chin right down at a trying to top. You can feel your airway is really obstructed. This is what we're trying to do today. Okay, let's try.